Yo. You got the juice now, man. Hello, guys. How's it going? Um, with all this stuff that's going on with the FDA, I was thinking, you know, thinking to myself, like, uh, getting new people to vape right now, yes or no. And, um, you know, I think anything that'll get smokers away from smoking should be done. And um, I'm going to say that we should just, you know, keep on spreading the word and what we know to be true about vaping and how it has helped us. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'm also going to support the cause. I'm going to use my vaporizer outside. I'm not going to offend anybody. I'm going to wear my vape shirt. I'm going to tell people about vaping and I'm going to alleviate some of their concerns and um, I'm going to continue to stand up for the industry that um, in a way, you know, um, made my life so much more enjoyable and uh, took away some of the health risks that I'd be facing if I was still a smoker. Okay, so um, now that that cat's out of the bag, uh, I took a trip over to the e-cig barn and um, I had saw this bad boy right here. It is the E-Fest L-U-C V4 LCD charger, universal charger. And on the back, it's going to tell you what it charges. It charges iPad, iPhone, MP4, a PSP camera. And on the other side, we have the variations of batteries. Um, 26650, 18650, I believe. No, maybe. 18650. Then we have the 18, 490, down to other batteries. I can't really read that because, okay, there we go. So those are the batteries that it holds. Let me snap. Snap a quick photo for you guys. Snap another photo for you guys. Okay. And um, I'm going to go. Die. I went to the eSig barn and um, I purchased this for $39 around. So it was around $40 um, after Uncle Sam, uh, which is the tax on it. And, um, it's, uh, it's a nifty little charger, and I mean, um, I had to fiddle with it a little bit for it to get the plug in, to get it, like, it takes, like, a second to turn on, and I just realized that if anyone else is having this issue, you kind of want to plug it in, and, um, you can look at it sideways, you can see the little LCD light, and, um, put a battery in it, and it should turn on, take a few seconds, it should turn on, but it's, um, it's a nifty little device, let me, um, do some unboxing here for you. Sorry about the mess here. Okay, so put it down on the ground. And the nice hard wood. And let's get in there. Okay, so just open the top. And this is how it's going to come. It's going to come with um, a user manual. Not very long. It's pretty simple. Front and back. It's also going to come with a registration for your warranty. I haven't filled that out yet. Um, it's going to come with the charging cable right here. And then on the other side, we're going to have the charger. It doesn't come with this battery. I just had that in there to, you know, kind of show. And uh, this button will change your mode. Um, it goes from 0.5 to 1 to 2. When you're in 2 mode, you're only going to be able to use the charger in both of these bays. Uh, that's for using when you're charging a 26650 battery. You put it in 2 mode. I'll plug it in and uh, show you guys in a sec. And um, same deal as kind of most of your universal chargers, the spring right here on the negative um, post. And you unplug that in, make sure its connection is good, and uh, the battery should turn on. And um, this charges your batteries very, very quickly. And, um, you know, that's why I thought it'd be great um, to review real quick and give you guys an idea that this charger is uh, working a lot better than my other one that I had um, um, I believe it came with the Provary uh, set that I had bought and I've been using it, it as a 2-bay. This one's 4-bay and it charges all 4 batteries uh, 
0.5 I believe is a slow charge, um, 1 is a fast charge, and 2 is for when you're using the bigger 26650 batteries. You can only charge 2 at a time. Let's take it over to the plug and I can show you how it works. Okay guys, we're back here. It's plugged in. Um, no issues. Just almost knocked my damn camera over. Now uh, with the lighting it is a little tough to see the LCD screen, but um, I can see it pretty clearly. Um, I wonder... Now when I plug this battery in, it's going to take just a second, and um, it's going to show that the battery is charging. Let me get it on display. This is a flat top battery, so you kind of, there we go. It's saying um, 4.1 volts, so that means it's almost done charging. At 4.2 it'll be done, and as I said before, this will change the modes, 1, 2, 0.5, 1, and 2, A. Okay, so if I put it on 2, as I said, you can only use one bay here and one bay here. Both 0.5, which is the slow charge. All four bays are lit up. 0.1, all four bays are lit up. And uh, 0.2, you can only charge 2. It's for the 26650s. Now, I read in the manual that you can charge uh, phones and uh, batteries through the USB pass-through, which is right here right next to the DC connection you plug your cell phone or whatever you want to plug but you would have to keep a fully charged battery right here I actually haven't tried it yet but it supposedly works pretty well and uh, I mean for 40 bucks to be able to charge uh, four batteries at a time has really been um, you know a lifesaver for me and I can really say that um, it is something that um, you know has made my vaping a little bit easier you know so um, I mean, for 40 bucks right here, um, to be able to charge four batteries at a time has made my vape life, which it pretty much is. It is a portion of my life. I enjoy it. I love it. I do it all the time. But uh, it's made my vape life um, run quite smoother. You know, I don't have to wait for batteries to charge. I plug them in, and they're all charged, and I'm good to go. And uh, as I said, you know, um, it's a pretty nifty little charger for the money, 40 bucks with the LCD screen and the capability to charge other devices. I think it's a score, and um, I don't think the company wants to uh, mean too much for it. I think it's a good price. So, I mean, if you're interested in charging uh, several batteries of different shapes and sizes, and if you do have a 26650 mod, um, then, you know, I, I say pick it up. I think it's a great charger, and... Um, you know, it's working well for me, and I'm very, very pleased with it, which is why I sh wanted to share it with you guys. All right. Um, vapors, let's stay strong. Um, let's, um, let's stay, stay respectful. That's very important right now. Um, be respectful of smokers. Be respectful of people who aren't vaping. Be respectful of people who don't know what vaping is. Um, don't blow vapor in their faces don't be ignorant to them um at least i wouldn't and um i would inform them correctly and um if they don't want to listen they don't want to listen and uh you know do what you can um go on these websites and uh support the cause and uh email your congressman and uh you know do what you can because it's very important um this is very very important right now i can't stress that enough and uh it's, it's very sad for me to to hear about this FDA regulation and uh, their proposal here. It's kind of like, um, it's, I wouldn't say that, like, you, you know, it's not like a matter where, um, where, you know, um, I mean, life or death, but I mean, it is very upsetting, especially for someone who's been vaping for as long as I have and who cares deeply about vaping, getting people to vape. It, it's, um, it's a terrible thing, let, let's face it. So, I mean, um, I'm very upset about this, so, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to get the words out. I kind of probably should have thought about it first, but hey, what are you going to do? But, um, you know, as I said, let's um, be strong, let's be united, and um, let's keep doing these reviews, let's keep people informed, and uh, keep calm and vape on. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.